Yeah, well, we've become very unapologetic. Um, yeah. I think we've taken our cue from the Nigerian women who are <laughs> phenomenal. Um, and also just, you know, owning spaces and, and starting to say we've got a voice. And, um, you know, we've been lobbying really hard, you know, from top down around women in when, when we talk about women in STEM, it's not just kind of classroom, it's classroom, it's boardroom, it's everything in between. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's about, you know, really making sure that we also, as women, stop apologizing, right? I fully, fully, fully That's agree. Like, I'm so sorry, Cheney, you were saying. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead, Alicia. And, you know, like, I, I never realized the effect of, like, women like Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton, and how hard they're actually driving this forward in terms of this, this need for us to actually have a voice. And as you say, no longer apologizing. Like I've been based in Washington DC, which is actually an incredible place to be based as far as being as a woman goes, because every single day without failure, there's a breakfast, there's a lunch, there's a, there's whatever that can possibly be made available for us to actually stand up and say, you know what? We have the opportunities, we've got to grab them, we've actually got to stand there and make things happen. And like as I say, like the funding, like the U.S. government's putting money into it, that every organization they possibly can, like you, you guys I'm sure know the CEO of Pepsi, Indra Nui, and yeah. they really, really, really are trying to make things happen for us. And I think it makes me very sad, like coming back to South Africa and kind of seeing women still not not taking their role where, they, where they're rightfully entitled to. Like yesterday I had lunch with one of the top female surgeons in South Africa, and she's incredible. She's young. She's ambitious. She's got absolutely everything going for her. And she turned around to me and said that the male doctors tell her to do all the admin as if she's a receptionist. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, there's something wrong with this. You're as educated as they are. I mean, you want to be one of the world leaders in your space, traveling around the world, talking at different conferences. And, that, and the men are basically turning around and saying, well, you're a woman, and women are good at admin, so do it. And she says that, that's that's the role of woman in South Africa. It doesn't matter if you're a surgeon, doesn't matter if you're a CEO, you keep fighting these battles. And I think that forums like this, it's incredible that we have the opportunity to actually connect with one another and stop saying like we'll stand in that corner. Instead we're saying we stand in that room and we're gonna stand by one another, we're gonna take action for change. So Good for you guys. You inspire me too. <laughs> well done. Well done, ladies. And the comments have been fantastic. I love the part about, you know, talking about equity and parity and making no apologies. I think it's essentially about, you know, making um, the, the playing field level for both genders. And uh, we certainly aren't there in Nigeria yet. We're working towards it. Uh, but we certainly aren't there. I mean, you, you can't even begin to compare uh, what's going on here in Nigeria or South Africa to what's going on in the U.S. But let's also keep in mind that, you know, um, Alicia, you in the U.S. and, you know, making all these, all these observations, which are fantastic and all, is that the U.S. didn't get there overnight. For and, sure. you know, I share my because I worked in the U.S. I was actually born in the U.S. and had the, the opportunity to have spent a better part of my adult life there, also working prior to relocating to Nigeria about six years ago. Um, so it's taken a lot of, you know, people standing up and saying, you know, make the playing field level um, you know, as women, we have a lot to offer, uh, not just doing the admin tasks, but, uh, you, know, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, making more valuable contributions. I mean, there's value in, in, in doing admin tasks as well, but um, uh, let's make the level, make, let's make the playing field level. You know, if we're, I'm doing admin stuff, you know, there's no reason why, you know, my male counterparts can do their own share of that as exactly. well. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what I told you to tell them. It's 50 50. <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, you know, we 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 talk about just yesterday. Um, uh, we had a situation here in Nigeria where an an, an announcement was made. Um, as you know, we just went through the uh, general elections, mm -hmm. and the person that headed the commission just stepped down because um, he had finished his tenure. And a lady was um, appointed as the acting interim chairman of the um, of the National Electoral uh, Commission, and there was an uproar. 
and uh, you know explanations had to be made as to you know yes there was due diligence and that she was qualified and the interesting thing is that when the gentleman who just uh, you know finished his term was appointed I do not remember there being an uproar about you know he's being elected into the position so here you have a woman who's not even necessarily the substantive chairman she's an acting chairman or interim chairman and people are up in arms so the president actually had to step in and say, you know, the presidency that, you know, this lady was elected based on merit and he's also committed to, you know, the affirmative action policies and ensuring that, you know, women that are qualified get considered for these positions. She was one woman out of the six candidates uh, that ended up being, uh, you know, considered for this final job, for, for, for this uh, position. But again, you know, it takes commitment. And it also takes us as women taking a stand to say, you know, our voices will be heard, make the playing field level for us.